back on me. Oh my god! What is that? Quite funny, they're just skirmishing. I think they must, like, literally be out of arrows, though. I mean, come on. What on earth is happening here? Holy crap, how many people are here? It looks like you must surrender or die. Welcome back to the channel, my friends. In today's video, we will be, hopefully, conquering the great city of Sonopa. As you can see, it has over a thousand people currently garrisoning it. So we are in no condition to siege it yet, but by the end of the episode, we will definitely be laying siege to it. Yesterday's episode, you remember, we took the great city of Poros for ourselves from the Northern Empire. And I'm a little bit worried because it's only got 48 defenders at the moment. So we kind of need to wait for our army to hopefully garrison it. And hopefully the Northern Empire will not be planning a counterattack. So I'm just going to be roaming the lands and we're going to be recruiting some people to pre prepare ourselves. Mantius's army. It seems Mantius's army is on its way to besiege Poros. I will see about that battle, brother. So currently it says Mantius's army is besieging Poros. I don't know how he's planning to do that. He does have quite a few horse archers though. So that's going to be a bit of an issue for us. This has a lot of range. This is going to be quite an even battle, I believe. So let's go ahead and attack him. Oh, he's running away from me. Into the tree line. Fantastic. This is going to really counter his uh, horse archers indeed. So you know what I think of you. This better be important. My friend, it is important. I hear you took Poros. I did indeed. But you know, there is something I'd like to discuss with you, Mantios. I will hear you. I shall assume that you would not suggest anything dishonorable, though. Ah ha ha! I was actually about to suggest you commit treason or die. What are you saying? And I can give you one single chance to join me in battle. Let us try and charm him into submission. His mouth is currently agape with this dishonorable acts we are committing our success he's having it he likes it my talk of treason i'm simply not comfortable oh we have persuasion attempt failed never it looks like you must surrender or die i have no wish to fight you i don't care so we fight them <laughs> i love how his face expression just immediately changed to complete disappointment in me <laughs> all right we're obviously going to attack him head on Let's get our archers in a loose formation just over the crest of this hill here should be perfect. Infantry. And we'll tell our infantry to form, form shield a shield wall. wall. Infantry. Our Put cavalry. Do their own thing. Alright, their cavalry is charging into us, so this is kind of perfect, really. Oh my god, this is beautiful. I'm gonna have a cavalry held back for a counter charge if anyone does come towards us. The rest of their army is on the right hand flank right now. Bowman. I actually am thinking of moving them up Move. just a little bit. Like so. Infantry. Move. They're gonna crest that hill and then take a lot of damage essentially. Here they come. Watch the kill feed just light up as my archers destroy them. Infantry! Forward! Charge! There we go, we've covered our flank there. Let's take out these Imperial bosses. He's down, fantastic. Some more over here. Get wreck some. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Mate, I don't know, for some reason there's a bug that constantly happens where it turns off my aiming reticle. So I'm just trying to hit the enemy with no HUD. And it makes it so difficult. There we go, now I can hit them again. Battle brother, get wrecked. Oh, I think that was one of their uh, lords actually. Right, we don't want, we don't want infantry running off into the distance. Do they have any archers left? No, they just have a few horsemen, to be fair. Let's go and take this guy out over here. Where is he, anyway? 
running into the hills. Oh, I see you, battle brother. Come at me, bro. Oh, he's got a crown. I must kill him. Taking out his horse. Oh, I just shot my own man in the back. Whoops. There he is. Look at him. Oh, goodness. Get Rex up. Oh, what? How did I... Someone must have... I didn't even know I had no health left. Can't believe it. They literally just have a few nobles left. I hope our uh, infantry actually does something. Currently they're just forming a circle and allowing themselves to be shot down by horse archers. I honestly did not expect myself to die. Okay, we finally beat them. There we go. So, we lost 5 men, 11 were wounded. We absolutely obliterated the enemy's army. What happens when you charge into archers, battle brother? Minetius of the Beni Zial. You are my prisoner now and I shall execute you. You are dishonorable. Mantius, you will be executed too, very shortly. I'm going to march you to the city gates of your castle and then I shall execute you in front of them. In front, in front of your fellow battle brothers. Oh, look at all those horses. Yes, give them to me. We are still on, by the way, guys, a realistic difficulty. Player received damage is medium. Combat AI is set to challenging. Combat AI just seems to mean that the enemy knows when you have a castle that isn't garrisoned. They can smell it. We're going to make our way towards Sinopa now, and we are going to slowly garrison our forces. Hopefully by recruiting from these local villagers that haven't already been raided. So I think we're going to go to the city first. We're going to sell our prisoners because it's slowing us down. And I'm going to slowly make my way over. And I might even cut this part out of the video. Just so we get the exciting battle. What we've all been waiting for. Look at my horse collection. Oh my god. I have 65 Midlands Pelfrey. 55 Sturgeon Trotters. I mean I have hundreds of horses. It's, it's a beautiful thing Battle Brothers. And we've just made 14,000 gold by selling everything. It is time to assemble the Banner Lords, my friends. And make sure we are ready for this upcoming battle with the Northern Empire. Now, if I summon every single man I have in my entire kingdom, it seems we have an army strength 1,381. Which is probably enough to um, take this castle of Saniopa of Saniopa. Currently it has 653 defenders. Um, the main issue being that as soon as we take this, all of the men from the Northern Empire are going to come over and uh, attempt to defend it. So I reckon what we're going to do is attack this man, Hazel of the Forest People. Oh my god! Wait! What an earth is happening here holy crap how many people are here does the entirety of the northern empire is destroying vipon and his army i'm gonna have to go and have a look at this goodness me oh my god how many people are here they're all standing on top of each other okay so half of my kingdom was just taken prisoner holy crap that's not good Okay, I'm going to sit back across this lake here. I have a much higher scouting skill than the enemy. So I can easily see who's walking past. And I'm just going to wait until my forces assemble. Because they're probably going to go back to their castle and re-garrison it. Yeah, they are. You can see. They know I'm on their doorstep. We need to wait for more men though. Because otherwise they're going to sally out of their castle and attack us. Though Vipon's army has weakened the Northern Empire massively. It seems like they're going off towards the north there, actually. I'm a bit concerned. I'm going to march up to the uh, this bridge here, just to show myself. They are running after one of my caravans, annoyingly. I'm just going to sit here and wait. My army is growing stronger. I'm very hesitant to lay siege to it yet, though, because they have 919 people. So what I'm going to do is just stand outside it, so no one can enter without fighting me, essentially. Um, and I know no one's going to sally out and... Oh, hello. What the hell? Why? Albos, looks like you're caught. I'm glad I'm the one who caught you. Minus 100 relationship. 
I hear you took Poros. I did indeed. You're outnumbered. Give up or don't. Death in battle is a fine thing. Why? I don't understand. There must be a bug here. He must have the garrison of the city with him. Actually, I think you should surrender. Bah, parlay's over. He must have an army inside the castle. No, what? This is this doesn't make any sense. Why is he at obviously I'm gonna just absolutely destroy him now? Holy moly, look at this. Sergeants! Take command! Alright, let's just tell everyone to advance. Infantry! Infantry! I'm going to get the cavalry to go ahead and follow me on my flank battle, brothers. You can see the enemy's army over there, and it literally is just a smattering of people. I'm going to ride my cavalry directly through their ranks, like so. Watch this kill feed light up, guys. Where are my kills? There we go. There they are. Beautiful. Right, now we'll charge into their flank, like so, and the enemy's army is just going to be absolutely surrounded here. I mean, they've just been deleted. I can not I can no longer see them, Battle Brothers. Oh, that Imperial Cataphract, kill him. Kill him, Battle Brothers. I'll let you have the experience. So, we've killed his tiny army and only one man was wounded. What I'm going to do, guys, is wait one more day, and then I think we'll go ahead and attack the enemy here. Here comes the wolfskin party, so all right, we're going to lay siege right now. And I am assuming the enemy is, yeah, the enemy is going to join and attack us in full force. And we're going to have to attack them back. Archers! Right, let's tell Forward! our archers to get in a loose formation. Stand apart! Up ahead over here. Move! I need as many men as possible to be Move! able to see, though. Infantry! And then infantry. Move! Gonna get in a shield wall. Make a shield wall, footmen! Move! Forward! Forward! Just across the front here. Um, as for our horsemen, I'm actually going to put them on the Forward! right hand flank and we will send them across shortly. Firstly, let's just have our archers have at the enemy here because we're going to be doing a lot of damage as soon as they come into range. God, we have a lot of archers, don't we? If we can get these guys more carefully positioned. Move, move. Put me right, let's have our move. infantry fall back a bit here because they are taking a lot of damage from the enemy. I feel like it's unnecessary. So I'm going to retreat my shield wall and just allow my archers to carry on shooting the enemy. I think we do have better archers, so... This is probably a good thing. Goodness me, there's an absolute hail of arrows coming into us. Right, I'm going to go ahead and tell my cavalry to actually do something now. Get on our flank, we're going to split them up here. Because we have some enemy cavalry coming in from the side. Goodness me, this is a slaughter. We're going to send our infantry ahead here. Because they are going to start coming over the river. And I'm losing archers against all of their enemy archers. But we are still winning this battle. Okay, they're retreating their men across the river there. That's good for us. What the hell are my cavalry doing on the side here? Oh my god, what the hell? Infantry! Cavalry! Come on. We're going to have to charge in with our cavalry here because they just don't know what the hell they're doing. I want to try and get across the river with my men and charge their archers right here. We can just ride through undeterred. That would be ideal. Kill 
just kind of want to distract their archers and make them flee right now. I could bring in my infantry. I think that could be a good idea. They're going to have to charge across the river, but they don't really have a choice at this point. I'm going to charge through their rear. There we go. Fantastic. And we're back in our own lines once again. My archers are still at the top, raining down hell from the bovers. It's perfect, exactly where I want them to be. We're pushing their men into the river, which is really good news for us. And I think my cavalry... Oh, dear me. It's looking good, guys, but my cavalry, I think, are dying to the enemy archers, unfortunately. Once again, I need to turn on my reticle so I can actually use my bow here. And we can start picking off these guys one at a time. Right, many of the enemy are retreating from the battle right now. And my infantry are still doing a good job. I just need to stay, have them stay together. Let's take that guy out. Right, let's go ahead and take our horses with me. We really need to take out these archers as well. Everyone on me. Need to ride them through these archers and really... Really try and do some damage and give them something else to focus on because those archers are doing so much damage to my men. So I'm just going to constantly bring them around in circles and confuse these archers so they don't know where to go. We are getting a few kills and doing a lot of damage by simply riding through them. Like so. But this is good. This is very good. We can lower their morale. The castle will indeed be ours. Okay, we kind of missed that <laughs> cavalry charge because I have all my men following me. Alright, let's turn around, brothers. I'm going to guide you right through the center here. Oh god, that is the enemy general with a bloody two-handed axe. That is not what we want. Right, charge the archers, guys. Come on. Oh dear me. Just so hard to do damage to them. We have no infantry left. Right, let's turn around to follow us. I want all my horsemen back on me. Oh my god! What is that? I see these generals over here and the Imperial of Cataphrat. Try and take these guys out. Where's the general gone? I can see it. Oh, I saw him kill him. Kill him! Oh my god, come on, someone. I can't even reach him. So many horses. Alright, I've got all my horses here. I'm going to tell them to lead a charge down towards the enemy archers. Of which there are still 147 just across the river here. Here come my cavalry down the hill again. Why am I... I can't control my bloody horse. What the hell? That was weird. They just have so many archers. Like, what's, what's a man meant to do? I can only repeatedly charge them with my cavalry, unfortunately. Right, let's get all the horses to charge down again. I'm going to start shooting some of these archers myself out the top here. There we go. We just need to thin out their numbers. I've got half their army of archers, but they really can't do anything when my cab runs in and charges them. It's quite funny, they're just skirmishing. I think they must, like, literally be out of arrows, though. I mean, come on. No one's firing anything at me right now. As long as I can just circle... I'm out of arrows, too, though. Okay, okay. A lot of them are retreating. This is very good. 
How about this horse? Does that have health? It has more health. Alright, let's tell us to charge across the river here. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and tell my archers to charge in. And I'm gonna come down the hill with them here. They still have a few arrows left. So it's just about taking the rest of those men out now. Infantry! This is such a pathetic fight. Come on, kill the rest of them, guys. I see a sergeant running for his life. I don't have any arrows left. I guess I'll just spear him in the back. Thank goodness for that. Now, the issue is, is that I'm sure the city is still going to have a garrison. And I've just lost all my men, if not they're wounded, so... Oh my god, that was disgusting. We lost 500... Okay, so they lost 500, 700, 800 men. And we lost um, over 500, Jesus. 250 people dying in that battle. Alec of the Lake Rats, you're my prisoner now. I'm going to execute you, brother. Oh, speck of the forest people, you two are a traitor to my realm. Guy 4, haha, <laughs> good luck, mate. Obron, you are also a prisoner. My god, how many prisoners are we taking here? Okay, are we still going? There's more prisoners? Jesus Christ, we catch half the Northern Empire here. 172 prisoners, you might as well take them all. Look how many generals we have prisoner here. 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> they will be executed. Oh yes, my horse collection grows ever more. Uh, I have sixty-five men. How many people do they have in the castle? They have twenty. Ha 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 ha! Yes, fantastic. And I'm having more people join my army. So now we have one hundred sixteen. No one can really counterattack us, really. Uh, and I have a hundred wounded men left in my army. Fantastic. And it grows ever more, so we'll be able to lead this assault as soon as my siege camp is actually constructed. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, just send the troops in because... Okay, we lost 30 men and 17 were wounded, but we got the castle anyway. The Northern Empire has been defeated. The clans of the Northern Empire have defected to surrounding kingdoms as their leaders have given up all hope of restoring the Empire. Oh my goodness. Sinopia has fallen. You can now garrison it. Very well. Right, first we need to decide who gets Sinopia. The Empire was destroyed! Yes! So are they just completely gone now? Resolve the owner of Sinopia. Okay, I'm going to give it to Meritor. He's served well in battle. Three Dan of the Wolf Skins. I think I'll give it to him. He's got a lot of support anyway, and he doesn't actually have anything currently, so I will go ahead and give it to him. There you go, buddy. I've actually got 76 relationship with him now. That's good. Oh, look at that map. Look at that map, guys. There is no scourge of the dirty empire anymore. In fact, they actually gave up their other castle that had a garrison of 250, which is quite funny because... That was a heavily defended castle that I decided not to take earlier on in our Let's Play. Let's look at the quest. So Istana's plan is still ongoing. Get 38,000 gold for trading all the spoils of war. I want to go and speak to Ozagos though, because I want to see if he has any like dialogue, considering we've actually killed the Empire now. And he's located over here in Moranath. So let's go ahead and speed up the game and just run straight over there. What's really funny is that we still have like 10 nobles to actually execute from the Empire. Because <laughs> if I release them, I don't know what they're going to do. I'll, I'll, I'll test it out with one of them. I'll release one of them. The rest have to die though, obviously. Yeah, here we are outside the great city of Maraneth. So I can't actually see the NBC we need to speak to at all here. So I have no idea where he's disappeared to. And also, the Sturgeons, for some reason, have decided to declare war on me. Now, if we take a look at the Kingdom tab, you can see the Empire no longer exists. And Sturgia, who just declared war on me, have zero strength versus my 5,639. I mean, it makes absolutely no sense why they would declare war at all. Ratagost is their last surviving person. 
and he was actually taken prisoner on Autumn the 1st by me. I mean, if we look at Sturgia, we have destroyed every single clan, apart from Ratagos' clan. Every other clan has been destroyed, completely wiped out. Even the Legion of Betrayed was betrayed. And indeed, if we come to Epicrotia, you will find Ratagast, who's actually inside the prison here. Seems like Ratagast is currently dying of old age or some kind of disease. I'm not certain. I'm not allowed to talk with you. You're the, on you're the only surviving member of your faction, though. So as you can see, the qu conspiracy quest has once again timed out, and then the conspiracy strength continues to grow. We've already destroyed the Empire, so it doesn't really make any sense, and I think the uh, the game just isn't finished yet because it's still in early access, so there's no way we can really continue the kind of like storyline quest. And all we can do is continue to take over the map if we wish. However, I'm actually more interested in starting a new playthrough. There's so many more things I want to explore in the game in as like a smaller sort of kingdom and a smaller sort of uh, warband size. Because I kind of find the game at this point a little bit too easy. And even if I am at war with constant factions, there's just a lot of management going on. And I kind of want to go back to the basics for now so for that reason i'm going to be starting another play which i will link below in the description we may come back to this playthrough eventually i don't know um and i'll link another episode down below in the description but um i just think it would be fun to see something different and new and like kind of make like a war band of sturgeons because we did completely destroy sturgeon so early on in our let's play um, but guys, I hope you enjoyed this whole playthrough. Please give it a like if you did and subscribe if you haven't already for that upcoming playthrough. Um, I'm also going to be playing and streaming The Elder Scrolls online as well. If you guys are interested in that, feel free to check it out. But guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a great day and goodbye.